Map 16-3, right? B8 have picked into Nuke. They've now got to start on their T side. They're letting Eternal Fire start on the defense. And that's a dangerous game to be playing, especially when Santaris is as crisp as that. Beautiful opening headshot as they push through the doors. All the information gained, but they can't stop them from getting onto the A side. A little bit audacious there from Woksik. Maybe a foolish play, maybe a heroic one. Once again, Imor on the jewelies though, and like a cowboy. He charges in. Simo's blocking him. What the hell? Kill feed? Looked at how many players were left alive. I went, hold on a minute. That first headshot, just incredible. I'm trying to funnel out of the door. Emort, tucked behind hollow vent. He'll play that perfectly. Second spray, controlled absolutely beautifully. Three headshots found. Wrinkle does find one back, but I don't think there's much chance of the round. Hipta gets one as well, but Kallax instantly trades it. And for Emort, it's just about picking up the final piece. And it's in a row, they've got that max loss bonus. Here they're going to try their luck towards Ramp. Kallax there to defend. First head not spotted, but so much damage dealt from the Molly. And he can now play the fire and range as they drop down from him. It's Clay Pigeon shooting as he picks him from the sky. But he only finds two kills. Damage onto Owner means he's incredibly low. And this should still be an easy round pickup, especially if they can deny this plant. It's being tapped in. Emort wants to stop it. He does so. He loses his life in the process. Native's there to take care of him. The orbs dropped as well. Owner actually finds it. There's been an incredible amount of damage from B8. Bearing in mind that the round and the investment that they had have actually made this super expensive for a tunnel fire. Now, they're not going to be too bothered. They've still got lots of money behind them. But yeah, the fact they found three kills in secret despite the molly. Fires off the shot though. Somehow misses. Luckily, he's got a smoke that will give him safe passage out of there. And he's even regressing. There's a gap in the smoke and he wants to play with it. Knows that they're not pushing further down to secret. That can be called to Zantares. That actually they're trying to cross to main and he swings off the back of it. Boxic. He does get eliminated by owner, but kills coming through in the meantime elsewhere means that he's kind of on his own right now. Needs to hit the shots. Beautiful one tap off the back of the spray from Issa. He's made this doable. A round that was a lost cause. Now a two versus one. Nick has managed to take the bomb as well, so he'll work his way round to the B site. The issue is, is when he opens the door, Kallax is there waiting. Three more on top of Hut. The real Hut this time. And this time, not with an auto shotgun, instead with an M4. And he finds one. Maybe he's better with the auto shotgun. Last time he got two. Native. Two big entries to his name. He's now called upon. He, he has to defend his A site. He has to do some damage, and damage he does. Two kills. Sprays perfect. It's. Uh, a little bit messy, but at that kind of range, you know what? To go for aggressive peaks previously, but with 45 seconds left, the fact he's still holding that angle is insane. He does now fall back as the smoke fades. He's about to take contact. Woksik, oh my goodness, what is going on with Woksik today? He was great in the first map. He on just can't hit anything. Once again, he misses a routine shot towards Ram. Owner, the trigger discipline's perfect, but he only finds one off of it, and it looks like it will be recovered. He saw another messy spray, but he made as well down to Krivda. 55 HP, now vulnerable to the Glock. Julie's cowboy mode. Hector finds the headshot, despite the fact that Kallax was on the perfect angle. A follow-up nade. Actually, not too bad. He needs to do further damage, though. Buy some time and space for his teammates to get in. The bomb, it's so far gone. He's tapped it, but he hasn't got the kit. He continues to spam, and they're actually doing this. He's holding the C4, though. He knows that he can't let go of this diffuser. It's round over, and... But he has a man disadvantage. They want to try and take something back. Kallax is so aware. He's so aware that they could have aggressed into lobby, and it just shows his knee... Baits out the shot, swings wide, beautiful headshots, and Taras has already wrapped around into heaven. I think Krivda's heard it, or at least he's heard Issa there jump up. Might have spotted both. Either way, Woksik's about to find a kill onto Native. Barrel spotted. There you go. Free kill is instantly traded by Wrinkle. Unfortunate for Wrinkle that he couldn't find the shot first, but there we go. Back and forth. Krivda left alone. Down low as well. He's, uh, oh my goodness, the confidence. Squeaky door isn't open, so they both have to go through heart. And this has just increased their chances massively. If Squeaky was blown off, then I think they'd have a better chance. Oh no, Wrinkle's blocking him! Just when they don't have a lot of time, and they're trying to get into the site. Wrinkle posts on an angle, and Crypto can't sneak past. 